folks, welcome back to Eddie's B Garage. I'm Ed, this is my 2019 Honda Pilot EXL. Uh, it's got about 13,000 miles on it right now and I just got the warning that it's time to do an oil change. Um, normally I wouldn't do something like this, but I got a request and you know, I just gotta work on the logic that not everybody knows everything and you all gotta start somewhere. So I'm gonna show you how to change the oil on a 2019 Pilot. So what I usually like to do is I'll pull the dipstick out and the oil cover before I start and as you can see I already stuck my long funnel in there and you're going to need a long funnel unless you're a bullseye with a spout and a pour technique I'm not I share this little bit of information with you this is a crush washer that goes on the drain bolt it's sold by Honda this is a lease so I figured I'd change oil about six times in 36,000 miles so I just went ahead and bought six of them at one time uh, cheap insurance. I did this on an Accord one time without changing this and reusing the old one and it did develop a leak. So do yourself a favor, just buy one of these and replace it when you change it. Alright, so first things first, you have the 17 millimeter drain plug here located at the back of the oil pan. Just get your ratchet, put it on there, and break it loose. Just like that. So one of the tricks I have here when the engine's hot like this one is, is I'll put an extension on a socket and get my hand out of the line of fire. So hopefully, keep a little pressure on there until you start feeling it pop like that, and pull it back. See, the socket got wet, but my hand didn't. So now we just let it drain for a while until it stops. All right, so here you are with the drain plug and the new washer on it already you can look at this one you can see it's got a little groove there and that's that's probably what causes the leak it's like a one-time seal only if you put it on and it's not sitting in the same exact spot it was before it'll be a little low and you cause a little half moon there and it just won't it won't seal right so the car is pretty much done draining it's down to dripping it's come around from the back stick her in there and get her spun down I get her lined up right. Now I usually give this a little wipe here before I tighten it down. And don't go too far away because the fun part is just about here. All right, it's very important that you make this tight. I think the factory says you want to do about 30 foot pounds on this. I just do good enough, but you, it's just not called a crush gasket for nothing. Very important to tighten that bolt. All right, now this is the fun part. As you can see, right through there, right here. Is the oil filter and the best place to reach it is from behind the tire so we're gonna do that I really can't show you too much of that because I can't get a camera in the hand if they're at the same time but that's what's next and it's quite messy it comes down and it hits the subframe here and it runs out on, on all sides but I'll get that out and I'll show so you what I mean so it came all the way around on all sides and I was able to get it just by reaching my hand in here and giving it a few turns I'll go ahead and swap that out and we'll get up top and start filling her up. You fill it up. I just wanted you to show where the fill hole is. And that little shiny tube there is where the dipstick was. As a rule, I always start out with about four quarts and then I get the car level and I check to see where we're at. All right, let's get her down and see where the level foot is. I'll push the dipstick all the way in. Let it sit for a second. We'll go back and forth. Pull her out. It looks like it's just barely on the tip there, so looks like we're gonna need the full five quarts. Check. 
looks good. So there you have it. Oil change 2019 Honda Pilot EXL. I'm going to show you how to reset the maintenance light now next. All right, one little tidbit of advice on the oil change. It's, uh, it's going to be five and a half to six quarts of O20 that you're going to need for the oil change. The five quarts just get you to the bottom of the fill line on the dipstick, so you're going to need to add more. All right, so let's get started. We're going to fix the maintenance dew light, and I've got a couple of them on. So you go to settings, click on vehicle, go to maintenance information, and it says I got two. I have B, oil and filter, and six, all-wheel drive oil. I'm going to go ahead and clear them both because I'm going to do them both today anyways. So go to that, press reset, hit it again, it's reset. Go here, all-wheel drive oil, and reset, and reset it again. Engine oil, reset, reset, and we're good. So now I have no more alerts on my car. Thanks for joining us. This is Eddie Speed Garage. I'm Ed. Like and subscribe. Uh, stay tuned. Like I said, I'm going to do the, the rear oil. I'm going to do a video on that too.